Guess how long it took to create these advanced looking motion graphics? 30 minutes? An hour? Maybe an hour and a half if you're fast. Nope, less than one minute. From idea, to prompt, to final export, all done in under 60 seconds. And no, this isn't clickbait, this is real. Now, if you've ever spent time in After Effects trying to build clean animations from scratch, the layers, the keyframes, the graph editors, you know how much time it really takes. Most editors would need hours to get something polished. So when a tool comes along and spits out a broadcast level animation in seconds, you start to question everything. At first, it sounds like hype, but the scary part, it's actually good. It understands what users want, like really understands. Not just generic presets or clunky auto animations. It knows editing styles. It knows pacing. It knows the difference between cinematic documentary visuals and viral social edits. It picks up on visual rhythm, on trends, and even emotion. And while most motion design tools are made for editors, this one feels like it's thinking like an editor. The tool is called Hera, and today I'm going to show you exactly what it can do, from zero to finished motion graphic in just a few clicks. Let's test it out. So, what is Hera? It's basically ChatGPT, but for motion graphics, and I don't mean that lightly. When you first log in, you're met with a clean, distraction-free interface. There's a quick demo if you want it, but honestly, skip it for now. You're about to see it in action. We can click these three lines here, and we can go into Explore to see what people are creating with this tool. We can see that there are a ton of cool motion graphics created which we see almost every day on the content we consume. So this is all very easy to create and here you can see that we have some templates but before we go exploring the templates, we can create our own templates which is amazing. So let's click create. At the bottom, there's a simple prompt box. Just type in what you want the animation to look like. That's it, it's very simple but it's very powerful. As I said it's like chat GPT but for motion graphics. You can also upload reference images in this icon here, custom SVGs if you're working with logos or icons, or even CSV files if you want to animate actual data, like graphs or infographics. And yes, it handles all of that, seamlessly. Up top, you've got your basic settings. Change the duration anywhere from a quick 5 second pop to a full 60 second animation. Set the aspect ratio to vertical, square, widescreen, whatever suits your project. Adjust the background color on the fly. You can even tweak the position of each element after it's generated if you want to fine-tune things. But here's the kicker. You don't need to design anything manually. You just describe the motion graphic you want and Hera builds it. The composition, the animation, the timing, everything. This tool is built for speed, but it doesn't feel rushed. The results actually look intentional, thoughtful, like someone sat down and designed them. Which brings us to the real test. Let's see how Hera stacks up when we try to recreate viral animations that have millions of views, starting with one from a viral YouTube channel known for cool motion graphic and editing, called Vox. Let's start with something simple, but recognizable. That clean, minimal Vox style animation. If you've watched any of their explainer videos, you know the look. Highlighted text, soft motion, subtle emphasis. It's minimal, but polished. And if you tried to recreate it in After Effects, good luck. You're setting aside a good part of your afternoon because they have an already made template you can use for this type of effect. So that's easy, but I wanted to show you first a little part of this powerful tool. Next, we're gonna create viral graphics from this channel. So here's what I did. I grabbed a screen recording from one of Vox's videos where it's showing number of volunteer firefighters over the years, and we are going to do create the same, but let's say for police volunteer. Hera has this option here where you can import a video that will help Hera understand what type of motion graphic you want to create. So I drop in the video recording and type this into the prompt. Create a countdown of volunteers for policemen in 1994 as the video attached. That's it. Hit generate. And within seconds I had a motion graphic. This is amazing. Look how accurate are all the motions. It looks amazing. You can make changes to it though. Just click this arrow on top left here and just click what you want to change, for example the year here. You can change it to 2020 for example and look how fast you can make the change. You can change the text here for example from volunteer policeman to nurse for example. You can position it by clicking and holding. You can change the transparency. You can change background also. A lot you can do with this tool. You can also change the ratio and it will automatically resize it. But it's this easy. No dragging layers, no re-keyframing, just one follow-up prompt and exporting, easy. 
Just click export here and you have 360p, 720p, 1080p and 4K resolution. I'm going with 1080p. Then you have an option to export it with or without the background which is a great feature. I'm leaving the background on for this. You have different formats here and also the frame rate. Select what you need, hit export and in seconds we'll show you this part where you can download the video. Click these three dots and press download and boom, it's done. And the crazy part is, this entire process, screen recording to final motion graphic, took less time than it would take to open After Effects and start a new composition. But we're just getting started, because next up, we're going to push Hera a little harder by testing its ability to animate actual data. Until now, access was limited to a wait list, but if you click the link in the description, you can start using the tool immediately and skip the wait entirely. If you appreciate that, then hit the subscribe button and tell me you are thankful in the comments down below. Next up, I wanted to see if Hera could handle something a little more technical, graph animations. I want to go to ChatGPT and ask, can you write me five interesting facts about states from US? And boom, here we have five interesting facts. I like this one. If California were its own country, it would be the fifth largest economy in the world, ahead of the United Kingdom and India. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT now, can you make a graph for 15 countries that California would leave behind if it were a country in terms of the economy? Here we have the graph prepared from ChatGPT with correct numbers. Download it and also copy the name of the graph. Now let's go back to Hera. Click on these three lines here and let's now explore the templates. I need infographics for this one, so I'll just click infographics here and look how many cool graphics we have here. I'm going to select his one to test it out. Click on it. Now here let's upload the image we downloaded from ChatGPT and also paste the name that we copied to. Hit generate. And boom, here we have the perfect graphic. Look how good it has highlighted California in green. This is perfect. Now real quick. I show you guys how you can use tools like this one and other to succeed on YouTube automation. And lately I have prepared a whole guide for your YouTube automation journey for free which you can get by clicking the link on the description. It's all you need for now to get started with your journey. Alright, so next I'll try to make something cool from Eamon Gaji. I'll go to one of their videos and just find a cool motion graphic and try to replicate something similar. Let's try this part here. I'll open snipping tool again and record this part. Then I'll just add it again on Hera and I'll write something like create a similar effect but the text should be YouTube automation, big steps media, and make money. And the instead of it is irresponsible make it its perfect combination. And boom, within seconds, Hera gave me a clean motion graphic. It's not the same, but it's still something we can use. Okay, great, let's try another one. Let's screen record this effect here now, and then go to Hera and upload it, and write this, recreate this animation, change the icons, the first one to be brain icon, second one to be light bulb, and third one to be money icon, Great, it changed the icons, and it did a great motion graphic. This is how easy it is to use this tool. Let's go now again over some templates, for example this one, and I'll show you how you can use this template by changing the icons to the ones you need. Let's just get some PNG icons from Google and see how it will perform. Write icon PNG on Google and download what icons you need. Then let's go back to Hira and go to image or video, and now choose add image to composition. Then upload your three PNG images, and write this, Use these three icons in order for these three motion graphics. And boom, here we have the perfect motion graphic with the icons that we need. It's one of those animations that would normally take hours to set up, the kind of thing you avoid doing unless absolutely necessary. But Hera handled it in under a minute with room to spare. This is the part where you realize it's not just about speed, it's about creative freedom. You're no longer held back by technical bottlenecks. You can try bold ideas without wondering if they'll eat up your whole day. So again, the link is on the description if you want to join by skipping the waitlist. It's a lot you can do with this tool. You can create cool videos like geography videos too. You just need to master the prompt writing for this one. And you can use this tool for anything related to motion graphics. Now, whether you're a YouTuber, an agency editor, a freelancer, or just someone trying to level up their content, Hera gives you power tools without the learning curve. No keyframes, no timelines, no headaches. Just your ideas, turned into visuals, instantly. The templates I created today, they're linked below. You can grab them, remix them, and make them your own. And don't sleep on the public templates either. They're getting better every day as the Hera community grows. This isn't a gimmick. It's not one of those AI tools that overpromises and underdelivers. Hera is the real deal, and honestly, it might just be the future of motion graphics. So go try it, test it, break it, push it, 
You'll be shocked at what it can do. And if you found this video helpful, I've got another one queued up right here. It's packed with even more tools and techniques that'll help you save hours in creating videos. Check it out. I promise you'll learn something new. I'll see you in that one.